Hey, now you've probably faced the problem where your website won't climb the SERP ladder. It may seem like you've done your utmost to get it onto the first page of Google, but something is still interfering with it. Perhaps you're hampered by content issues or your page doesn't fully match the user intent of the search query. Or maybe it's all because of your competitors whose content and page experience might be better than yours. SE Rankings on-page SEO checker will give you the answers. In this video, we'll figure out step-by-step -step how to get the most out of this tool. By factoring in your primary keyword, the tool analyzes your target page against other pages at the top of the SERPs and then evaluates its key metrics that impact the page's ability to rank. These metrics include different content and technical parameters, as well as off-page factors. That is, the tool will help you quickly assess how well a page is optimized. What's more, you can study how your page differs from the SERP leaders to know the all-important question. How do you improve your page so that it ranks higher on search engines? Okay, so where to start? Add page details to the start of an order. To gather all necessary information, you simply have to, one, add in the URL of the page that you want to analyze. Two, select the country where you're trying to get your site ranked, and you can also specify the region if you have a specific location. Three, select the number of competitors to be analyzed. This parameter is flexible, and the optimal amount depends on your niche and goals. In some cases, it makes sense to focus on the top three competitors, while for other businesses, it can be beneficial to analyze the top 50 rivals. Four, then enter one primary keyword that best describes the content of the page. Five, after that, you can add up to 30 secondary keywords to support the primary one. So this is a list of additional keywords which you also want to see on your analyzed page. And don't forget to enter the name of this report and create a group for it. Finally, launch a scan and the tool will automatically analyze the top of the SERPs in the selected region for your chosen keyword and provide a score based on competitive research. Now, let's start with the on-page SEO audit section. Here, you'll see a comprehensive report that will help you determine how well a page is optimized for its primary and secondary keywords, as well as what needs to be improved. In this section, you'll find the page quality score, a list of top competitors, and a list of the issues found during the audit. In the top left corner, you can see the page's overall quality score. It's based on around 70 parameters and it's extremely accurate. The score evaluates the page quality based on keywords, marketing parameters, technical metrics, and these are adjusted to the average value of the selected range of top search results. The score depends on the number of issues found on the analyzed page and the weight of each issue. The thing is, not all parameters are created equal. Some metrics have a more significant impact on rankings, while others are less decisive and thus given less weight. Next, to the page quality score chart. Here, you'll find a list of the page's top competitors and a chart with task distribution. By clicking on the view details or view all tasks button, you'll get redirected to the respective tool sections. More on them later. Below the charts, you'll find a report with all check page parameters. They are divided by categories, title, description, URL, text content, page experience, usability, media, indexing, internal and external links, etc. Some of the tool's parameters come with preset values while averages for other metrics are defined based on analysis of the SERPs. By using AI-based technology, the tool provides recommendations based on the actual metrics the page's direct competitors have. That's right, instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach 
with the same suggestions being provided for whatever page you're checking, we'll customize our recommendations depending on your competitor's performance. We're using flexible metrics because different niches may require a different approach. So it's impossible to hold an online store and a travel blog to the same standard. For example, when optimizing a product page on an e-commerce site, you can't ignore structured data or canonical tag setup. You'll also want to have unique H1 and title tags, as well as product descriptions, but you wouldn't pay too much attention to the text structure. At the same time, when working on a blog post, you'd pay special attention to your competitor's word count, text structure, and to a smaller extent, the keywords they use across the site. Now, let's get back to the report. All the issues are categorized as errors, warnings, and notices. This qualification depends on a parameter's impact on the page's ability to rank high. Also, every issue comes with easy to follow quick fix tips. Here, you will notice some graphs demonstrating how your page measures up against your SERP competitors. For example, you can see a competitive comparison for the description length and recommended value. You can make the same comparison for the keyword density for your primary keyword or the number of domains linking to the page, etc. Keep in mind that the overall on-page score doesn't show your actual ranking, but it gives you an assessment of the page quality and provides tips on how you can improve it. By fixing these issues, you can rank higher in SERPs. Also, bear in mind that the off-page metrics are there to give you a more accurate overview of your competitor's strengths and weaknesses. At the same time, backlink metrics don't impact the page's on-page optimization score. Now, while fixing the issues reported on the on-page SEO checker will improve your page's overall quality, it may not be enough to outrank your competitors. You'll need to dig deeper and study which keywords your competitors use across their pages, how they structure their content, and which metrics they have in common. Only by understanding these patterns and adjusting your pages accordingly will you be able to eventually outshine your competitors who occupy the top positions. To get started, go to the competitor comparison module. It consists of three tabs. These are terms, on-page metrics, and content. At the top, you can see a select competitors button. Here, you can choose which competing pages you want to study. If some of the detected competitors are big players like Amazon, or if an app store app gets into the search results, this is where you can remove the sites that you'd like to ignore. In addition, you can see key metrics for each competitor, their word count, page and domain trust parameters, the total number of referring domains, and overall page quality score. Now, let's start with the terms tab where you'll be able to check what keywords all your competitors are using and where exactly they are featured within their content. The first column contains keywords detected across all the competing pages. Here, you can find keywords missing on your page which your competitors are using. There's a filter that allows you to single out a full list of missing keywords in two clicks. You can also filter out keywords used in main content or supplementary content, keywords used in header tags, title, description, keywords used in bold, etc. Consider adding relevant keywords to your page to cover the topic from all possible angles as search engines will appreciate this. Now let's move on to the other columns. In the area column, you'll see where every term was found. So in the main or supplementary content of the page, Primary content has a heavier weight for Google, while secondary content is not as important. Since the tool differentiates between the two types of content, it provides you with more accurate tips on keyword usage. Take a look at the usage column where you'll see which part of the page a particular term is featured in. The title, description, the body of the text, URL, etc. If you notice some patterns when analyzing top competitors, it makes sense to follow the lead. 
The next column displays a TF IDF score that shows if a keyword is relevant to your page and can help the page rank higher. The two last columns show how many times a particular term is mentioned on the page in the primary and secondary content, as well as the ratio of keyword usage with regard to the page's word count. This data will help you balance the keyword density on your page, and you can also sort by density to see the most widely used terms at the top of the list. Let's now move on to the next tab, where you'll be able to check the metrics of yours and your competitors' pages side by side. The table contains measurements of 30 plus parameters from title tag length and Core Web Vitals to the number of backlinks and the number of words used in the main content. Finally, in the Content tab, you can review title, description, and header tags used on each page so you can compare text structures with your own and get ideas on how you could improve your content. So far, so good. But how do you put all this information into practice? What should you prioritize first? To help you with shaping an actionable plan, On Page Checker includes a to do list with all the issues and suggestions from the report and arranged by their importance. If you're working on a website alone, you can start making changes right away beginning with the high priority issues and then making your way to the very bottom of the list. And if you've got a webmaster to take care of all the work for you, you can simply export the list as a PDF and share it with them. We've made this list fully customizable. You can increase or decrease the priority of individual issues. So if you think that a particular task isn't that critical, or on the other hand, it should be taken care of sooner, you can change its importance. And sometimes it might happen that on page checker reports an issue for something that's set up that way intentionally. In this case, you can simply hit the ignore button to remove the issue from the report and also improve your overall score. Finally, if you think that some other tasks should be taken care of as well, you can hit the add new task button to add it to the list. If need be, there's always an option to edit or delete it later on. Now, that's how you can analyze a page, find its competitors, and get an actionable plan for further improvements that will save you hours of laborious work. I hope you found this tool useful in your SEO efforts, and the suggestions that we provide will help you with reaching top results as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more SEO videos.